What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the How to Husband Podcast. I'm your host, Terry Deron. I got both of my co-hosts on the line with me tonight. I got my man, Jay. What's good, bro? Not much. Glad to see everybody back, you know, after, what, three weeks here. So, glad to see everyone back. Hey, shout out, shout out to Jackson State, still on the feed, number five in the country. You know, swag, that's that's up your alley there, Terry. They, although I know you went to Southern, but <laughs> hey, they, they have repping it for the swag. But want to remind you, you can, you can catch us 8 p.m. Tuesday night, Eastern Standard Time on Grind City TV. You can download on Google Play and also on your Roku TV. And be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube at Hold Husband Podcast. All right, T. Uh, I also have my other co-host on the line. I got my man SD. What's good, man? Oh man, you know, you know me, man. I'm just tired, but I'm here. <laughs> I'm doing what I do. Showing up. That's what I do, man. But hey, I want to give a shout out to Brother Soul Productions for always keeping the background audio fresh. And I want to remind everybody to donate to the Hold a Husband Podcast on Cash App and PayPal. Uh, I want to remind everybody that y'all can catch the audio playback of the podcast every Monday afternoon at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time on the core94.com. Uh, this week, we got a pretty interesting episode. Tonight's episode is titled Chestnut Checkers. Um, and we're going to be talking about dating strategies that men and women use to accomplish their relationship goals. Uh, but before we get into that, y'all know we like to discuss stuff that we've seen on our timeline or things that have gone viral. Uh, so we got a couple of real interesting videos that I wanted to, uh, to look at this week. Uh, this first video is a lady that um, I say this is the ultimate accountability. Uh, she talked about um, her dating decisions and how that's the, um, the dating obstacles that's created for her uh, in her current life. Let's take a look. And the truth about it is, y'all, I'm hurting y'all because I want to be loved. I want marriage. You know, a lot of us get on here, we act tough and we be like, I don't want a man. I don't need a man, but I want help. I want to be loved. I want somebody to love me. I want somebody I can be vulnerable with. The problem is, and I'm not crying y'all because I'm sad, I'm crying y'all because it's like a release right now. <laughs> but the problem for me y'all is that all the relationships that I had with men were not about love. It was about survival for me. I know how to fuck. I know how to cook. I know how to clean. I know how to seduce a man. I do not know how to love a man. And then to have a son because of those choices that I was making y'all and I got pregnant really really fast I got pregnant within 90 days of knowing my baby daddy and we don't talk about this shit because it's embarrassing and it hurts it fucking hurts man that, that was hard to, to watch man but I, I give her her props man I think that's the first step towards improvement if you gotta you got you you actually gotta internalize that you are the problem and a lot of women will never get to that point. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's too late um, because she she made a very good point, something that really stood out. She said, I can fuck, I can cook, I can clean. That's a lot of the things that a lot of guys, when they have, what do you bring to the table? You know what I'm saying? Like they, yeah. they looking for a woman that can do those three things. So she's clearly showing that it's actually more than that. Uh, it's how you Absolutely. problem solve, communication, all those other things. What do you think of the video? Um, I think that I think that every woman mainly can name those things. But to be honest, those are the basic things that are required from a woman. Right. It's like a man saying, "Hey, um, I can provide. I can protect." Right. Like okay, cool, but 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 are right. you are you gonna are you gonna can you protect me emotionally? Do you protect me uh, uh, spiritually as well as mentally and all these other things? Are you compromising? Are you reasonable? What kind of parent are, are you? you? Yeah, yeah, are you are you here to serve? Can you serve? Are you selfish? Are you you know? Do you have a, a, a sort of um, submissive type of attitude with some things that come with being in a relationship? So I mean, it's other things other than the basic things but most of us really just focus so much on the basics yeah i could i could smash your gusty smithereens and i could pay the bill <laughs> but 
outside yeah. of that, that don't make you a good man. Nor does having yes. sex and, and yep. knowing how to cook make you a good woman that's eligible for a relationship. And and guys that actually want relationships and want to get married, those other things are what intangible. Yeah, because every woman can sleep with them and you know most of them can cook. But they aren't taught how to actually live, cooperate, and treat a man. It's all about when when you really talk to the women, they grow up how to receive things from men. Whereas men, we are taught as kids from little boy, open the door for your mom, open the door Mm -hmm. for your sister, pay for this if you got the money, do this for your sister, do that. We are taught to serve and do certain things. And a lot of women just aren't taught to have that same type of cooperation with a man and it comes back to bite a lot of them in the butt later on yep man i'll say this at a situation like this you know what this isn't some one-off or an anomaly here i think this is way more common this is happily the one that went viral and as you see the whole mentality i don't need no man for nothing isn't quite working out too well it's just a lot of women yeah. are too prideful to actually admit that. But yeah. hey, I, I give her a props for admitting it and yeah. saying what she went wrong here. You know, because mm-hmm. there's a lot of women out here just having survival sex. I mean, just having. Yeah, I mean, she she said sex. that. Um, yep. And and I, I would I don't want to just stereotype, but I would guess that she was either raised by a single mom or saw a right. dysfunctional relationship. Um, I wanted to ask both of y'all because it came up in the comments on my page when I posted it. Do y'all think that a woman can be taught how to love a man? Because I don't necessarily think that's something you can be taught. Um, I don't think a woman, I don't necessarily think it's about the love either. I think it's like you were mentioning earlier, how to cohabitate, how to problem solve, how to resolve issues. Like those are the things that a lot of women don't have to do because they always got dudes that they can manipulate or use for different things that are kissing their ass um, and don't really hold them accountable because it's not usually in their best interest to do it. Yeah. So the, the actual love part, I think that that feeling of love just going to come natural in a woman when she likes a man, right? Mark. But when you talking about actually um, knowing how to treat a man properly, because a man got to know how to treat a woman properly too, right? No doubt. That that stuff, yeah. I think, in a lot of cases, has to be learned. <laughs> like anything else, you you have to learn certain things and how to treat certain people, and and not even you got to learn about yourself also, because you have to be able to make adjustments to somebody that comes into your life. We all yep. gotta make adjustments with each other, you know, and not be so stubborn, be more compromising, be more reasonable, be a little less selfish because we've been by ourselves. We have to make adjustments sure. to each other. And if you never no learn, if you if you were an only child or something like that, you ever you ever seen an only child? Oh have yeah, yeah. Problems, <laughs> yeah, have problems uh, getting along well with other kids because yep. they're so spoiled. They never learn to share. They never learn oh. to work with other kids. So they don't do well with other kids. It's the same only child thing. syndrome. Yeah, if you don't, yeah, see their cousins kids, come over and now they beefing. You know, yeah, yeah. You, you know, a lot of times, and, and a lot of people get kind of get over it sometimes, but it helps tremendously when you can learn from your parents, your grandparents, your auntie, somebody that's in a loving relationship on how it actually works. Otherwise, we just out here like two blind dogs leading each other trying to figure it out and a lot of times it don't work that way it 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 leads to disaster but you know at least like y'all said she is admitting that it's on her the decisions that she made hey i got pregnant after 90 days look this stuff has consequences out here yes everything we do yep yeah yeah i mean i wish more women internalize their situation and you know, it, it, I'm pretty sure it is embarrassing and painful, like she she admitted. But until you come to the realization that what you're doing and your thought process was a major part of the problem, you're never going to get different results. No. Um, let's keep things rolling, man. Yeah, this this next video uh, uh, I thought was really interesting as well. Um, it, it presented uh, flirting in a different light. Uh, this was a post that I put up uh, by Sadia Psychology. Let's take a listen. 
How to compliment women. Now this is really easy. You just need to remember mind, body and soul in that order. We're going to start with complimenting her mind. This might involve saying things like, I like your thinking. I never thought about it that way. You're so smart. Now this will automatically allow a woman to feel a little bit more relaxed because your first compliment is not superficial. It's actually something to do with her intellect, which will make her feel a little bit more unique and valued. Number two, now you want to make some form of physical compliments, physical, not sexual compliments. What this will do is allow her to recognize that you have some interest in her that is beyond the platonic and therefore she will start to view you differently finally and most importantly is to compliment her soul now what i mean by complimenting someone's soul is complimenting something they do without realizing so you it might be saying things like i love your aura i love your energy i love how people respond to you why this is such a powerful compliment is it will demonstrate to her that she can be herself around you because she doesn't have to act or behave in a certain manner in order to impress you. You are impressed with her soul. Uh, that I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, pretty, it, it, it's, 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 it's definitely going to help out fuck boys. Um, but I never thought about, I never categorized compliments like that. Um, I never, I was never like the pickup line type or whatever. So if I did give a chick a compliment, it was something genuine. Uh, but I thought those were three, those were three things that in the, in a flow of a normal conversation, I think they can definitely get a dude, uh, some, some brownie points in and, uh, lead to more success. What'd you think? Man, I thought it was a bunch of bull, basically. You know what I'm saying? That's just me, man. Like, and the reason I say that is because, you know, it, it's not authentic. You know what I'm saying? To right. Me, it's not well, like, well, if it, if you really do like if, if you if if you actually compliment stuff, if if the things happen to be true and it was authentic, it would work, right? Man, but but it's a plan. Compliment her soul. <laughs> hey, compliment her soul. Hey, how about I compliment the soles of your feet? They look a little dry. Yeah, <laughs> we can get you some some, some jerseys up here. No, but no, I'm, I'm just saying. Like yeah. for me, for me, and like as a man, I wouldn't tell men to listen to this. Man, you don't ask them. You don't ask mm -hmm. a fish how to catch fish. You ask a fisherman how to catch fish. And the fisherman is men. Do you want to compliment women and all those things? Yeah. But the way, the, you know, the way she going about it, it just don't seem authentic, man. Tell her something uh, to compliment her soul. Like, oh, it's your energy and your aura. Like, I get it, man. You know, if y'all want to do it. Bruh, but that's no it, different than, than you talking to a chick. Like, like, man, I love your vibe. Or I love, like, right. those are common things that you, you tell a chick, though, right? You 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 make a when you enjoy a woman's presence, you got you let her know some type yeah, of way. But, man, yeah. being around you it make me feel some type of way, or I'd be excited yeah. to be around you. Something to that effect. I guess I guess for me, I, I think it's more of the for, from her. It sounds more like a plan. It's no, it is a plan. So, so you say so so you so SD. So you say she's saying telling men to be deceptive there when I mean with a woman. Really, that's really that's really what it is and i get it cool all right me i'm just how i am now like i go with how things are going like right and that's just me and how i feel because i'm able to talk and communicate well with women so for me it just it just seemed planned and not authentic and all that for me but well, i understand it, that's that's that. the like, smart that's the logical thing to do like yeah, all right you know, every like, dude ain't gonna be as comfortable around chicks as somebody like you yeah, so yeah, for yeah. a dude that is nervous around chicks having a game plan on what to say like i, I really like that she said a physical not sexual compliment like yeah. that's smart compliment her lips or her smile or her face or her eyes don't talk about her fatter asses like listen, even though that's, that could be something listen right. that's how dudes, that's how that's how men that's not comfortable around women mess it up because they think Why you say that? because yeah. of the plan he gonna say man you know what i'm saying he might be trying to compliment her lips right and, and just blurt out something like, man, like you can suck a golf ball. And she's like, what? Oh, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. I mean, I mean, he got I mean, a plan you know, and he messed it up in his head. I, like, no, go with it, man. You know, right. I say this, you know, like the way she said, it, it's, it's a little outside the box. You, you know, it makes to a woman, it will make you look observant if you say something like that. Because most of the time, most dudes they ain't even gonna notice that stuff, or even think to even say that. If you think about it, yeah, man. 
and you know. But like I you said, it'll help the fuck boys. You know, yeah, Absolutely. they can use that to their advantage. Or the whole phase men, as SD always well, says. Yeah, I mean, I think it'll help anybody. But like, like you said, I, I was always an authentic person. So if I am spending a long, long time with a chick, like, I, it's not hard for me to come up with something authentic that fits into to the descriptions that she gave. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Some about her thought process, like, man, you different. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, just complimenting a chick on enjoying her conversation or, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, you way different than I would have thought. Little shit like that go a long way. That's the, the verbial talking her out of her panties. That's essentially what you're doing. Asking yeah. the right questions, uh, complimenting her on what you like about being around her, that type of stuff. So, um, I, I did like when she said, you know what I'm saying? Don't say, don't compliment some sexual. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't tell her how big her titties is. She know her titties big. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, don't, she don't she do got that. Triple D. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't be sitting there like. <laughs> you gonna mess it up, man. But you know what I'm saying. Be, be authentic. It, be a, be as authentic as possible, and go with the flow of the day. It, it makes things it makes things flow better, man. It makes yeah. her more yeah. comfortable. You know, than you just oh, okay. I complimented this. Now let me let me get that. And another thing is, a lot of women too. They know when you ain't being authentic and real with them. If you just drop yep. a compliment after compliment, oh your hair, oh your hair, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like, <laughs> because when you got a lame, well, no, no, no. I was say, you got a lame, he'll do Women stuff like that though. Exactly. Okay, Women don't yeah, like you're that. right. You're right. Like, I hadn't even thought about it like that. Yeah, I, like, I automatically sprinkled my level of knowledge into it. Right. Like that's I wouldn't do it all back to back to back. It would be throughout the night different compliments like me like that's what so, i mean so you're right you're right that's you, what i mean you have guys to apply that, some it's some type of common sense to it but guys that's comfortable around women don't need this advice it's the guys that's not True. comfortable around True. women and mm -hmm. those guys are, are going to take this a lot of them and they gonna fumble it with something stupid <laughs> because yep. they trying to remember or they gonna hit her with all of these here different things one after another and she gonna be like yo because they not used to that especially if she pretty they gotta go yep. out look guys if, if you if you're not comfortable around women you need to go out with an ugly girl first like a three or something like that. Because a pretty girl gonna mess you up. <laughs> you really gonna fumble it if you if you pretty. That's that's yep. my advice for y'all. There you go. Oh, uh, that, that's interesting. Yeah. Um. I I, I honestly I, I thought you was gonna be on board with the with the uh, the three step compliment process, but that's interesting. I, I I can definitely feel where you're coming from. I do see now that you said it like that. Uh, I do see a lot of guys trying to follow this by the book and it, it, it losing its authenticity. But the guys that can just at, slip this in your normal conversation, man, you you a lot closer to the pussy um, by doing those those things. If you can do it in an authentic, smooth, natural way. All right, man. Let's uh, hey, hey, <laughs> real quick, real quick. You can you can compliment a woman. And get mm -hmm. that shit just about off of, off of anything if you real with it. I remember one time I was in Vegas one time and I complimented a woman's feet. I told her her toes was really nice. I said, man, you got some pretty feet. And you know what I'm saying? I, I talked to her for a while after that, like after I left yeah. Vegas or whatever. Like you you can be real authentic with a woman, man, and, 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 and get to a point with her the way y'all comfortable to talk or chill or whatever the case have smash or whatever but being authentic is the best way to go about it trust yeah. me no i doubt. definitely agree uh let's keep the ball rolling man let's uh it's been been a couple of weeks since we was able to get to our inbox um those of y'all that are interested in having your questions read on the podcast uh make sure y'all hit us up on our hold a husband podcast dm uh what we got in the inbox this week uh, we got Miss Body from Detroit. Okay. Miss Body, so that's what we got to go with, all right? <laughs> she says, hey, I've been dating this guy for two months. We've been on about nine dates, and he claims he wants marriage and a kid. But the only problem is that he parties every weekend. And when I say every weekend, <laughs> I mean every weekend he clubs and parties. 
do wow. you think what do you think? Do you think this will be an issue going forward? What y'all think? He, he's in his whole phase, sis. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's that's what I he's said. in his whole phase. Like yeah. it's it's plain as day, it's a it's a yeah. bright light going off, and you are just ignoring it. Um, yeah. will he possibly be ready to settle down one day? Yes, maybe, but it's not no time soon. And so two things stood out in that question. Him mentioning marriage within nine dates, major red flag that's yep. giving fuck boy vibes to the yep. max. Um, and then the partying every weekend. So this is this is gonna be a casual short term fling. Exactly, man. Sound, sound like homeboy selling wolf tickets here, man. You oh, you went on a few dates and he and he said he talking absolutely. about bad dedicated, but going out every weekend. I mean come on. those two don't even align there. Come on, man. A kid like the kid <laughs> after two months. <laughs> I don't know, you know what I'm saying? In two months, I don't know everything I need to know about you to decide to even say, Hey, I want to have a kid with you. This dude Fact. just talking. And and it's not yeah. just that, but when a when a man is ready for marriage, he behaves like a husband. Yep. It is what it is. Just like, just like um, yeah. a woman that's that's ready for marriage, she behaves like a wife. Might not be a wife, might not be a husband, but people can see those qualities in them and yep. be like, man, now that's a good dude right there. That's a good chick right, right there. They can see it. A guy that's going to the club every weekend partying, he ain't ready for no marriage. He ain't even ready for you. You just don't know it yet. You just ain't found out in the two months. Because I don't know, dude, run to the club every single weekend just to hang. Primary out. reason okay. is to meet women. The primary yeah. reason, got you know, well, I, a lot of this generation to, to floss yeah. for social media too. Um, <laughs> but but the the main purpose is to be out and about where you can meet new women. Mm -hmm. um, so if if that's what he's doing every weekend, um, he might be fun to hang out with. You can go on some dates and and, and enjoy your time with him, but. If you're trying to be in a serious relationship, you're you're like very likely to be disappointed with this situation. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, and the, mm -hmm. and the thing is, is that we see things in people a lot of times, men and women, right? Yep. When we date now here, that we don't necessarily uh, like or that necessarily uh, meshes well with us and how we live. She sounds like she's more of a stay at home and chill type of chick because she like, hey, right. the only problem is he go out to the clubs every weekend. Well, for her, you know what That's I'm saying? She's going to want him to chill, chill out. be at home like, exactly. uh, uh, you know, most husbands do when they get married and have a kid, right? But if he don't, you have to apply the same logic that you apply to somebody like Kanye West when he was crying about Kim Kardashian being naked on Instagram. Bro, you this is what she was when you met her. <laughs> exactly. She had a whole so, sex tape before you got her. Exactly. Ready. So you can't complain about it now. And the same logic applies to these women who try to get with these here dudes, hoping and then get them to change, change mm -hmm. later on after he, he asks you to marry him or after a kid. It don't now, like it's, that it's possible that a man can change, but the, the, yeah. the motivating factor has to be internal. It has yeah. to be yeah. something he wants to do or not, he's not, putting not effort into doing. Not right. just because you want him to or you hope he will. I think, you know what? I think that's one of the biggest mistakes a lot of women make when they go into dick. They go into a situation thinking they can change him. Just like a situation like this, he's going out to the club every week, but he's talking about magic. Oh, I can make him stop going to the club to stop being a whole phase man. And it never works out. Ladies, don't do it. Yeah. The dummy mission right been, there. It's only been two months. <laughs> it's only right. been two months, man, and he out every weekend. Like you, not gonna change this man. I don't care how wet your wap is. I don't <laughs> care how sloppy your top is. This exactly. dude is not going to change for you or nothing that you push out of you. He's got to do it for himself. And at this particular time, he ain't did it for you in two months. He ain't gonna do it for you. Yep. So I think you should, if you don't like it that much and that ain't the lifestyle you want to live or have a man that's out like that, then you need to find you another dude. That's just what I think about it. Yeah, y'all yeah, shit don't need to be putting a title on it and going raw or doing none of the things that's likely to extend the relationship. <laughs> um, this yeah, is a situation that you, you want to uh, proceed with caution if you're going to continue dating him. Absolutely. All right, man, it looked like we up against the clock. Uh, we about to take a quick break. Uh, when we come back, we're going to be getting into our topic of the night, chestnut checkers. 
uh, where we're breaking down the dating strategies men and women use. Y'all are tuned into the Hold a Husband podcast, and we'll be back in a moment. Hi, I'm relationship coach and author Terry Duran, and I am pleased to announce that my book, It's Not That Complicated, is finally available as an audiobook. So if you don't like to read or you just don't have time to read a paperback book, this audiobook is perfect for you. You can listen to it while you're in your car, while you're at work, etc. In the book, I break down how husband material men think and operate in regards to sex, love, and relationships. And I provide real quality insight on how husband material men approach dating. The audiobook is available on audible.com and on iTunes. All you have to do is go to one of the websites and search for my name, Terry Duran. Go download your copy today. All right, everybody, welcome back to the Hold a Husband podcast. Tonight's episode is titled Chestnut Checkers. Uh, and we are talking about the dating strategies and the approaches to dating that men and women have in regards to relationships. Uh, and so I just wanted to start off by talking about what a dating strategy is. Uh, obviously, um, a strategy is something is a plan of action to help you accomplish a specific goal. Uh, and so when we're talking about dating strategies, we're talking about the things that you you consciously do to put yourself in a position, well, at least from a male perspective, to put yourself in a position to be around people that you that that, that are members of your dating pool. Um, how would y'all define dating strategies or dating? Um, I think your definition is, is pretty spot on. You know, the plan is whether it's just to meet the chick or get get her number, whatever the case, you put your you put a plan together just to meet a woman sometimes, right? I'm in the grocery yep. store and I see a woman and I'm like, mm, I see she going up and down every aisle. Bet she in aisle two, I'm gonna wait in aisle three and wait for her to come down there. <laughs> I just put a strategy in place to run yep. into old girl. So it could be just a, a plan to just to meet initially right and then you know once you know once i meet a chick it's it's whatever comes to mind at that point but you know I, try, I try, yeah i try to you know <laughs> say something you know just to be authentic and introduce myself like a gentleman that's typically how i try to do it you know let her get a whip of my cologne or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. yeah yeah for strategy i say the way the way you go about the way you go about the situation, your approach to the situation, like you said, having a strategy, how you can go about talking to her, how about getting a number. Yeah. For example, if you want to go out to the club, some people might, hey, I'm trying to go to this club and get four or five numbers, or I'm trying to go to the club and leave with bring a trip home with me. You're gonna have a strategy. <laughs> for that. Yeah, yeah, great, yeah. I mean, I think a lot of the the guys have to put in more uh, tactical strategies on yep. where they gonna be what they gonna do like for example i, I remember well I, I still do it um because it's the best way to see the most attractive women um you got to get by the bathroom or the bar <laughs> like when you when you if you at a, at a club or a spot where they're attractive women all of them are gonna go to the bathroom at one point or another so if you have if you in the in the uh seat you got a seat you got a section you you post it up in the spot where you can see all the women that's like that's no different than a a, a cheater or something just being perched in a tree looking at all the prey go by you know what right. i'm saying like you can you can size up what's your type what's not um and it, it it gives you a great um vantage point from a male perspective um I never but like see the bathroom approach though I never like waiting by the bathroom because if she take too long, I'm gonna think she taking a dump, and I'm gonna be like, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> "Why she that? Why she that?" that, that ain't man. man, you know how they do in the bathroom, bro. They do it near the lashes. Oh well, yeah, yeah. They usually they tra- they that usually travel in packs. Yeah, uh, like to, to the re- <laughs> but see, that's that's something that uh, a, a women don't have to put a lot of effort into. Obviously, they have to be seen. So a lot of times, like you like in the uh, situation you gave with the supermarket, same she'll do the same, take the same kind of strategy. Oh, I saw this handsome dude walking by. Let me w- walk past to make sure he sees me. You know what I'm saying? Like type of vibe. Um, this is more physical. They, 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 they strategies be a little, uh, a lot more physical to me. Yeah. Where a guy's got to be more. 
uh, mental, mental and, and strategic yeah. and you know well thought out a lot of times on how he gonna do it you know in order to actually get to a chick like that so it, it's a little different we we all do certain things man to be noticed or whatever the case so it's all good all right so when we're talking about our dating strategies or the differences between men and women i think one of the biggest differences is our ultimate goal um, I think that's that's one of the things that causes so much turmoil in the dating scene uh, because women have this goal of getting in a committed relationship that is headed towards a marriage and most guys goal is to just consistently get time, attention and sex from the women that they find attractive. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I think you're absolutely right because yep. one of the biggest complaints from women is that men don't want relationships no more. Yeah. Right? Ain't that one of their big yeah. complaints? So I mean it just goes to show and, and, and one of the other ones is men just wanna wanna have sex, right? So I mean most something men, to do. Yeah, like most mm. most men do, but you know, you have to put yourself in a position. See, uh when it comes to strategies we talk we just got done talking about uh physical, right? Most yep. women, because they don't really have to learn anything about a man to get men like that, they really only put all of the focus and all of that into their physical appearance yeah. and how they come off that way yep. in order to attract men. There is really no strategy there on how to really keep him outside of sex for most women. And that's where that, that, they fail at. Hey, yeah, that's pretty accurate. But a lot of things with women is physical. Like all the women have to do is go out there and show some titty and show some thigh, and that will get her attention. So Dang she's not thinking of really an effective strategy to get the men that she really wants. Because think about this. all women want a relationship. Even the ones that say, oh, if you say, I'm not looking for anything right now, she'll act like she's okay with it until three, four months down the line. Then she's going to be like, well, what are we? We, get, we can't just keep doing this. So all women yeah, want uh -huh. a relationship. Yeah. yeah you know, um, and, um, like me being me being a single dude every it's so many beautiful women out here i, I must yep. admit it's a lot of y'all right but one thing that, that i look for like with a woman is just how she how she carries herself how right. she posts on social media how do you do it you matters present yourself yeah do you present yourself a like a like a wife yeah what are you putting out there what's what's your what's your bait that you putting out there are you out twerking on tables do you type up your shorts so we can see your camel toe? Or or wear no bra so your titties can swing in the camera and do all these TikTok dances? Or are you chilling? Are you making a meal? Are you making a meal and posting your meal that you just making? Like, yeah, you know, I made my meal and you real chill and, and real lady. Like, that's what gets gets me personally. I'm going to still look at the titties now. I'm going to still look at the titties that's there. But I ain't going to take you nowhere because... The strategy that you're using is for whole phase men. And you're going to yep. get plenty of them. You know what I'm saying? But when you talk about a dude that would like to get married one day like myself, you are not going to be on my radar for a potential wife. It's just but, you know, but you know what? What about the women that don't think they really need an effective strategy to really get the men that they want? Because you have a lot that, that think like that. They, they end up it. struggling, you know. They they they're the women that end up like the woman we talked about in the video. I was just where they in they they <laughs> late thirties, they in they forties, and they yep. like, oh man, I was tripping. I, I had a good dude in my twenties, and I fucked yep. it up. Like they they all kind of have a very similar story because I mean, if you wait until you forty, it's no different than like if you if you waited till forty to start your career. Yeah, you might be able to make some money, but you're going to be way behind the eight ball. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and so I think that one of the biggest differences between men and women is the guys that are actually husband material and, and father material, they started that journey at, in the, as teenagers. The, the code they live by, watching other men and, and, right. and watching other dudes' fathers and how to manage a family and fairness and, you know what I'm saying, decision-making, all the stuff that we talk about. Women don't have to start paying attention to what it takes to make a household run. Really never. You know what I'm saying? There are a lot of women that just see men as a, a source of money. Right. And, and a sperm donor. And, and that's why they that's why they used to teach it to the women 
early back then when our grandparents yep. and mom them they was teaching these good girls hey this here's this here's uh how you take care of a home this here is how you take care of kids this here is how you be you're feminine they showing them these here things how to be because those things that men want out of a woman now they like hey yo I'll figure this out after I get my 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 bachelor's at 32, 33 years old. And but they had all this fun and now they want to, you know what I'm saying, jump into something with a man thinking that they just going to be the greatest thing in the world. They done developed these attitudes, they done developed these here different ways. They done became more masculine whatever the case. And the men are saying, "No, thank you. I'm good on you. I'll sleep with you, but I I, yep. I can't I can't wife you like that." And that's where they get the video like the one we seen earlier, where it's like, yep. man, is this all I'm worth? It's just the sex. And now you're feeling empty and all these here other things because you never prioritize men enough to understand them. Whereas men, like Terry said, we learned a lot of things when we into um, learning about women and taking care of women, especially if you got a father in the household, we might not implement it at 2021. We might be hoes, <laughs> but that foundation, the foundation is there to where when yeah. we are ready, we can revert back to that foundation and then live off of that foundation and build off of that. Because yeah. it's a skill set. Yeah. Because yeah. it's a skill set. Like yeah. The, the fact that men actually are the ones that actually have to put in work to be hoes, like they have to actually have the skills to be able to attract women consistently. They have to have strategies that actually work. They have to have communication that actually gets them from point A to point B. Women don't. A, an attractive woman can get dick throughout her whole life and not have no skill whatsoever at attracting yep. a, a man uh, yep past casual dating and basic the basic interaction like they, they don't have any clue on how to make a man view them as somebody they want to build a life with um but the guys that have or actually hoes that have had to talk to hundreds of women etc they're so good at conversation and the skill set that it takes to manage a relationship they have all, everything it takes to be great husbands and fathers if that's what they choose to do ultimately yeah, you know, and I like to say, um, women don't have to study men to get sex. They have Not to all. study and learn men in order to get the ring. They do. True. Cool. It's just what it is because <laughs> when a man is a husband material man, man, he got rules and he got standards and requirements for a woman. And if you ain't meeting them, hey, it's all That's, good, dude. It's that, what you said right only applies to the men that are successful with women. There are a bunch of beta men and lame guys that marry a chick just because they happy to be with her. And, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, like the men that that's they my baby, want. my wife. Yeah, he yeah, but like I mean, the ones that they want. Not right. the Russell Wilson. Right. They claim to want that <laughs> they right. don't really want. We talk about the men they actually want to be with. Those types of dudes that's done turned into husband material men have requirements and things. And if you don't meet his requirements, he ain't got no problem telling you, hey, man, hit the road. It's 30 more I'm lined up for this dude. Yeah, he is, is ready. Yep. But but that's the that's the thing, like, about the being a hoe and being successful with women. Like, you have to find reasons to be able to cut off chicks. Like, it, it's harsh. It's not always fair. It could be because he don't like your accent or he don't like something you laugh. It could, it could be something man. very unfair you know what i'm saying yeah. like right but yeah. that's the reality of it you gotta find a way to cut off chicks because you got a limited amount of time i cut a chick off because a pinky toe had a black nail on it i i was I, about i, I knew it was going to go your foot on it. <laughs> I, I cut <laughs> off plenty of chicks because of their feet man like you know what i'm saying a chick farted one time i cut off <laughs> I was in my 20s. Over a fart, bro? That's yeah. messed up. Damn. That's it was bad, up. man. It was bad. And she was asleep. She was asleep. I had just fell <laughs> into the mattress. I was in my 20s. And she farted, man. And it was bad. I was like, man, you got to go. I was petty back then. You know what I'm saying? But you, you cut women. You have to learn how to cut women off. Yeah, I mean, but see, that's yeah. the thing. It, when If you're a dude that becomes good at... A, identifying the type of women that are your type, 
um, yeah. evaluating what type of women have, the attitudes that are conducive to long-term relationships. Well, if you dating multiple women like that, then you're in a good position from your perspective. You have some great options to choose from, um, but making that choice can be very difficult. That's why a lot of guys end up in situations with multiple women and are not or, and refuse to actually get married or, or make things official. It can be difficult a lot of times. Yeah, man, it's tough, yeah. but you know, it is what it is, man. <laughs> And women just don't spend that time, man, to, to, to learn men. And growing up in single parent households, it, it hurts that even more because they don't Absolutely. get to learn from they learn from their dad or something like that, yeah. you know, how to do certain things. A lot of, and a lot of times in those situations, they kind of more or less just took how to survive on their own, not necessarily study or want a man or, or even admit that they need a man in their lives. Yeah. Well, that, well that let hurts. me ask y'all this. Do, yeah. do y'all think that a woman, uh, cohabitating with a man or living with a man before marriage helps her improve her chances of becoming a wife? It could, it could go both ways. It, yep. it all depends. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it, it all depends. Like, if she never learned how to share space, share time, just to be compromising with a man, it can damage that. You know, it can do the reverse. If she if she's not really tidy or clean like a man likes a woman to be, yeah. if she don't take constructive criticism well and he try to tell her or teach her certain things, she's not going to be open to that because she never had to yeah. do that growing up. Nobody yeah. ever told her she was wrong. She's right. gonna she's gonna wreck that that I, relationship living with him. I mean I would yep, I would say I mean I would say she can if she's you know, moving in with somebody for the right reason, she definitely can. Because you learn a lot about somebody when you live with somebody. Absolutely. You know, you know if they if they trust have me. a weird something collection. Trust oh, me, you're gonna man. find out. If they nasty, <laughs> they nasty oh, with it. Man. You're gonna find out. So yeah, hygiene and somebody live with them. <laughs> yeah, hygiene. Their their yeah. their day to day habits. Their that that how they manage their time. You you do learn a lot. Um, I, I would say I can't imagine marrying somebody that I hadn't lived with prior because yeah. that's why when I hear people to say like, oh, no, we got to get married. Then we move in like, man, that's when it's it's a major problem because now you got to get divorced or a no to marriage if one of those things is a deal breaker for you. Um, so so that approach to dating, I think, is always at least it gives you a chance to see what you're going to be dealing with. You know what I mean? Like, they got kids. You can see their parents' style up close. You can, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can, you can get an idea of what it would be like to actually be be married to them or have kids with them on your own. Um, so because that's the approach you, that I would take. You actually get to see how they live, like like Jay yep. was saying, man. Like, because if you just come over my house on the weekend, my house be spotless, hey man. Spotless, smell good, yep. this and that. But let me tell you, <laughs> when I get home, sometimes, man, I be tossing clothes, man, like, oh, man, like the, 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 the typical. <laughs> The typical bachelor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I have I have plates of onion rings sitting on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> she don't get to see yeah, none yeah. of that. She don't live with me. Man, man, listen. A woman know when when a woman came and cleaned your house, or if you did it yourself. Because a woman yeah. cleaned a man cleans different. Trust me, she know. Yeah, but once I clean, uh, yeah. you know, I clean it up. But I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Like I remember when I um I you know me and this chick had lived together for a short time, man. She had an issue with flushing the toilet. I never, and it blew my mind till I walked in on a turd. I'm like, ah. <laughs> like who don't flush the toilet? Oh my god! And it kept happening. And I'm like, look, man, if I walk in on another piece of dookie, it's gonna be a problem in here. And I had to leave Shorty alone, man, because she wouldn't flush the toilet. But you don't know stuff like that. I would hate to get married to a chick that leave loads in the toilet, man. <laughs> <laughs> I would hate I it. Like, man, you. listen, we got to go to the courthouse and get rid of this. this <laughs> you don't get to see stuff like oh, that. Oh, man, man, you man. a fool. I'm being serious, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yeah, got yeah, me dying here, bro. Hey, man, I'm just telling the truth, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Live yeah. with them first. And, and, yeah. and you know, it's, it's like it's like um people say, hey, I ain't going to have sex until I'm married. Like, yeah, you gonna put you gonna put that on yourself? You gonna wait to the end to figure it out? 
Yeah. After you yeah. Married, that's tough. It's tough, yeah. man. So. Yeah, after, and I also think that that uh, gives you the opportunity to see through some of the deception. You know, uh, yeah. we, we, we live in a world where people present themselves a certain way on social media, uh-huh. make it seem like they got more money than they actually got and all this type of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, you, 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 can, you can see what a person really values and how authentic they're being with the world if you live with them as well. Um, yeah. So I think that's something that that's really a big deal in today's society because, man, if all you do is pay attention to how a person is when you see them in person or what you see online, you could be getting a very small percentage of what that what that actually exactly. looks yeah. like. Yep. You know, he online with bricks of money up to his ear, but then <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you actually move in with him. And you come in the house and Renan said and uh, took all his furniture. <laughs> he got, he got, the, he got, like, oh, he got a struggle apartment. <laughs> yeah, like it, it, because because he putting on the front for you and you you never knew that his credit score was a 350. Now you you living with him and he can't get nothing. He can't he can't buy anything. He can't get nothing, no credit. Now you know these his type of things. This dude nasty. He don't cook. He don't clean. He don't do this. You learn so much about somebody. When you're around yeah. them every day, it's just what yeah. it is. You get to see that actual lifestyle up yeah. close. Uh, that's why we, we always talk about it, there's so much value in being authentic. When people see yeah. that you are actually what you portray yourself to be, um, yeah. you get so much credibility from it. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you, you're single, that's, that boosts your status on the dating market. Um, especially from a you know a single guy perspective that actually has the, the like like as they said the, the income the mentality the credentials uh, and the resources to actually provide for a family. Um, yeah, it, it definitely boosts your stock out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm just speaking yeah. from experience. It does. You know, so being authentic is the is the way to go. That way, when you meet a woman and she do move in with you, it's like. It's like nothing ever changed with you because you was always the person that, you know what I'm saying, that, that you that you were. Sometimes she gonna come visit me and it's gonna be clothes on there or it's gonna be a plate sitting on the counter that's, you know what I'm saying, that's been sitting there for a while because I ain't got this. <laughs> Sometimes it's gonna be like that. You know what I mean? You gonna see, you gonna see how it really is being around me. And that's what I want you to see. But a lot of times people, men, men um, pretend in order to, get sex and women pretend in order to get a marriage get that ring get that ring ring. get the ring and living together man it's gonna it's gonna take all that out the window if you're really paying attention you'll be able to see straight through it hopefully you can see through it before you move in but just in case moving in (laughs) yeah especially i mean if it's kids or pets involved you're gonna learn a lot yeah man somebody you could go to somebody like you said Chicks be coming to see you, uh, you know, in Chicago or whatever, but you go to Shorty's crib and she got a pet or she got a collection of cats. You see how she, how her crib really is. That, that could definitely change uh, her 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 score on our dating application. Yeah, don't bring no cat over here. <laughs> uh, actually, oh yeah, bring one cat. I want you to bring Garfield. <laughs> bring, bring Garfield over here. That's the only one. Don't bring no other cat over here. Well, you can't can get up out of here. Yeah. All right, man. Look like we up against the clock, fellas. Uh, we about to get up out of here, man. Before we go, uh, I want to give a shout out to my man, Brother Soul Productions, for keeping us laced with our background audio. Uh, I want to remind y'all to continue with the donations to our Cash App and our PayPal. Uh, JSD, man, I appreciate y'all linking up so we can get another episode knocked out. Um, I, I, uh, uh, this little, you know, delay. Uh, this is the longest we've been without an episode together. So I was looking forward to chopping up with y'all again, man. Uh, oh, wow. This has been another episode of the Hold a Husband Podcast. Y'all, thanks for tuning in. Peace. Yeah.